Hi, everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We're so happy you're here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from Ryan Holiday and his thought-provoking book, Ego is the Enemy. In the book, Holiday explores a little voice that lives inside our heads, a voice that tells us we are worthy of great things, that we deserve more than others, and that we know best. This voice is our egos. It can often appear that a strong ego is imperative to survive and thrive in the business world. However, according to Ryan Holiday, a big ego is far from the universal key to success. Instead, he argues that an egotistical attitude can be downright destructive, that it can ruin relationships, prevent us from reaching our most tremendous potential, and leave us unable to progress. A key point in the book is that although history is populated by famous and even notorious egomaniacs, the most influential and successful people are, in fact, those who focus on their life's work with humility and dedication. Here's our take on the critical insights conveyed in the book. Number 1. No Shortcuts to Success Many people believe that success will automatically follow if they are just confident, passionate, and driven. But this is far from true. There's no quick route to success. The only thing that leads to true greatness is hard work and perseverance. Number 2. Don't Be Passionate Most people see passion as the ultimate drive. But in fact, passion is often just talk. It's excitement. It's the ego's loud voice. And since passion is led by the heart and not the head, it is uncontrolled and unrestrained and frequently causes problems instead of solutions. Passion fuels the ego and makes us obsessed with our own achievements. It leaves no space for discipline, common sense, or the humility to listen to the opinion of others. Number three, a healthy dose of confidence. There is nothing more valuable than evaluating personal strengths and weaknesses with an impartial eye. However, the ego masks what's real and prevents us from performing a genuine assessment. Ryan Holiday therefore encourages us to make a distinction between ego and confidence. See, a healthy driven dose of confidence is a good thing since it still allows for self-criticism and realism, whereas a big ego doesn't allow for any of that. Number 4. Continuous learning is critical. Ego tells us that we are the best. It lets us believe that we already know it all. Ego is especially dangerous to successful people. See, once success is achieved, people tend to forget how hard it was to obtain. They feel entitled and cease to earn it. Ego is the enemy teaches us that true significance is obtained by remaining humble, prioritizing lifelong learning, and emphasizing ongoing work over achievement. So, never let your ego trick you into believing that you know all there is to know and keep learning. Number 5. Get over yourself. Everyone experiences failure from time to time. That is just a fact of life. But our ego plays a vital role in how we deal with it. When nothing matters more than the task at hand, the opinions of others are less able to cause harm. So, get over yourself, dust yourself off, and carry on. In conclusion, the ego is the enemy of success. It spoils relationships and distracts us from enjoying life. It tricks us into thinking that we don't need help or guidance, that we shouldn't have to do this or we don't deserve that. To break away from the hold of our ego, we need to reflect on what truly matters to us, to be completely honest with ourselves when evaluating our strengths and weaknesses, and live our lives with humility and dedication. And there you have it. Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like, take care, and see you soon.